So this is the oven. It's a DeLonghi AS670 that I added a second pair of quartz heaters to the bottom. And the exterior between the shell is insulated with fiberglass. It's nice because it's got a light in it and you can see the, the fan on the side. There's our control EO, but without the enclosure yet because I've been still tweaking its uh, software a little bit. I have three boards loaded in the oven now. I'm going to be putting this through its standard cycle. After I get the final thermocouple, I'm going to run it through the back of the oven, but for now I just place it as I close the door. And everything looks good. So on the Controlio, the first LED is the bottom heater. The next one is the top heater, the second pair of bottom heaters, and then that's the convection fan. the profile set to come up to 50 degrees Celsius gradually, then it goes full power to 150, then it does a soak to 180, full power to 200, and then a sort of soak to 210. When it's at full power the fan's on full, but when I'm doing the soak the fan is slower because it was giving me a cold spot, and then when it's in the cooling stage I have the fan kick in again which helps uh, reduce overshoot and cools it quicker. soak phase is to let everything heat up to be relatively even so when we hit it at 180 we'll reflow the whole board
then we do what's called a reflow soak, just to make sure everything's getting above the temperature. And it's also to let the heaters cool down slightly. So when I shut it down at 210, there's less overshoot. So now just the convection fan is on, which also helps to cool the oven a little bit quicker. Also turn on an external fan. So I'm going to crack the door slightly to help it cool faster. So let you know you can remove the boards. If we take a peek at one of the boards, 